that's a neat color. These are subtle, low chroma colors that we can later on go in and add some of the jeweled colors. Let's try this. Now you can cover that whole shape you cut out like that, or you can create different shapes by going across like that. That way you've got that shape, that shape, that shape, and that shape. Vary your color as you go along. Try and take as few strokes as possible, letting the color blend on the paper. You could texture it at this point with salt if you wanted to. Or you could spray it, get a little texture that way. Put a little more blue in there. Almost like it's a continuation of what's happening up above. As I said, you don't want to bore, bore the person looking at your painting or yourself. Boredom is the enemy of creativity. Isn't that neat? Remember, we're always going to say, isn't that great? Whatever we're doing, isn't that wonderful? Learn to love paint. Learn to love what you're doing. That's what art is all about. We're so fortunate to be able to do this. Okay, let's go up in here and lift this up. Let's make sure we cut that through. Let's go on ahead and we will get a nice, big, dark shape. Let's go in here and I know I have some indigo in here, which scares everybody to death. Ooh, nice subtle color. Is it too subtle? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I add a little bit of pink to it, see what happens. See what happens if, remember that's what we said we were gonna do. See what happens if. Don't break it up too much. Cause we want a nice dark in there. going right over the top of the pieces that we cut before. Mm, there's a subtle gray. Grays are beautiful. 